All right, ladies and gentlemen, traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. Guys, you know the drill by now. As you're tuning in, hit that thumbs up. If you're a new viewer, consider subscribing to our lovely channel. So in this one, we're going to be talking about a couple of stocks here uh, and how we were able to make over $2,500 day trading in just about an hour and a half today. Uh, we're going to focus on stock APM, BMR, and cctg those three were the top three ticker symbol cctg we're down 250 on uh, we're going to talk about the importance of making sure that your share size is set in your order entry especially when switching back and forth between multiple stocks we're also going to talk about some of the patterns and edges that we utilized uh, on apm uh, to capture those sweet price action trades and those beautiful breakouts on the pattern uh, on the side of the patterns and the candlesticks and other than that, uh, let's remember our disclaimer. Uh, and at the end, we'll also talk about our risk management, right? We will review some archive as well. So let's talk a little bit about our uh, disclaimer here, guys. Remember that day trading, like any other business in the States, is risky business. Eight out of 10 small businesses fail within the first three years. And nine out of 10 traders fail in general when it comes to trading. So know that the odds are against us, even for those who are in merciless markets, our students, it's no different, right? Despite having the program there, it's still hard. It's still very hard to become successful. All right, so keep that in mind. Remember that the live streams recaps are never a reason to try and copy trade what I'm doing. It comes down to understanding the strategy and building up over months, if not years, to get that consistency and intuition, all right, that experience. Lastly, remember, I do not invest for my subscribers, so be careful with impersonators and fake accounts. I will never message you first. I will never talk about mirror trading, copy trading, or any sort of weird options trading. I will not send you screenshots of profits, so be careful with these fake accounts out there, guys. Uh, with that being said, let's jump into uh, stock. Let's see, stock APM. We'll start with APM. That was the best one. We are going to look at the charts and then we'll pull up the archive here just for some uh, some quick reviews. So the chart, we need that context, right? So how was this thing looking early pre-market? Well, the volume was a little lighter. It wasn't super great. You know, we pushed up around 840, but I mean, liquidity was just in the depths. Sold off around 57. And coming into the open, we were hoping we could see a red to green. Because you guys know, anytime a stock is trending down, I want to see the uptrend because the uptrend is where I usually do my best as I'm trading, right? So that was pretty good uh, that we got this sweet move coming up. So uh, let's look at the candlesticks here. From 560, we got up to 840 and, you know, consecutive green candles. We had a halt in there. This thing was quite the beast. So let's pull it up here. Let's take a look at some of those trades on the archives. And then we can uh, move on to BMR. So this, this is what we call an archive. This is a screen that I record every day for the students so they can go check it, check out the videos. So APM, uh, let's see here. I was watching at WIMI, which is opportunity is going to cost over there, unfortunately. And then I'm like, you know what, man, let's get ready for APM. This thing is resuming. You know, it got halted up at 686. So there are, there are multiple halts and, and the E-Trade charting sometimes depicts the halt levels a little bit better. So this thing resumes. It resumed, let's see, we had a high of 686, and this is going to be a good example of how I manage risk here. So we're 686, we get to 708, and then it starts to pull back right here. And I'm going to jump in at $7. The bids are going to pop up very quickly here. We had 86, 85, 84 area for lows. And I'm going to take the chance of getting in kind of high here, because I'm like, if it's not going to keep sinking, can we see that breakout back over 08? So I'm going to jump in. And right here, I'm thinking if it flushes down below 80, I want to stop out as quickly as I can. So I'm going to jump in. And this thing starts to fly. It literally flew up to 50, uh, 49. So that was a good trade there. You know, we started off locking in some gains. Um, and this, this was literally like one of our first trades. So, you know, I, I, I will say I'm a little disappointed because... I, I should have really and truly been up like 10 grand on the stock. There are some things that I fumbled. There are some areas that I fumbled. 
um, you know, and let's let's look at this second resumption, right? So okay, we made money right there. I think on this resumption, I might have gotten a little too talkative because towards the very end, I was thinking, man, do I want to size down? Do I want to size up? And you know, and so forth. And the resumption is going to come, and it's really it's going to dip. It's going to give a beautiful dip, but I got a little timid with the halt level down. So two things: one, I wasn't paying full attention, but even with that, I was still watching. But I could have been a little more locked in, I think. But the the dip down right here is going to come so close to the halt level because we got seven seventy. Watch this right here as we're going to resume. There's a, there's some sellers up here, like or, or let's say a seller eleven thousand. And this thing drops down to 10. And right here, I'm thinking, nope, 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 nope. If I buy, I'm thinking, if I buy, look at the spread, right? 10 by 30. If I buy, I'll be filled at 30, more than likely, on the ask. And if it fails to bounce up, I will be trapped in the halt down at 94. Man. And, and, and ultimately, I opted not to go long in this area. And the spreads are going to tighten up right here. Maybe if I wanted to go in, I could have took it here where the spreads are slightly tighter. But I, I, I just was, you know, I was just, just wasn't sure. And this thing slingshots like no tomorrow. You can see in the blink of an eye, 750. Another blink of the eye. Oh, okay, 50 still. It hesitates here. It doesn't really dip. And this is what gets me right here. So I thought right, right here when it stalls out at 50. I thought maybe it's going to dip back down, you know, maybe back to like 710 or something, or at least a little bit of a dip. It, it just teleports from 42 area to 55 on the bids, and then there's 830, and like, you know, it, oh man, the miss from 710 to 848. And uh, it's, you know, I, it's one of those things where I can't really be mad because the, the risk was there. If I was in at 730, and this is the thing with trading that can drive you nuts, is that something so small, like the halt level, and, and I guess it's not really small because it's how we manage risk. But, you know, the halt level being so close is, you know, is the issue. I'm not really buying that area, especially when those bits tight, the spreads tighten up. To see that, you know... That prevents me from getting in, and from 7.10, we're now at like 8.40, and it's like, dang, man. Because if I'm in a, if I'm in a 20, 30, or let's say, let's say I get in when the spreads are tight, let's say I'm in a 20, right? Let's say, I'm assuming I get a high fill, I'm in a 20. If I'm selling up at 45 area, 50, the moment it gets back above 50, I think I'd be so aggressive that I'd jump back in quickly. Even if, I, even if I'd gotten to fill 65, 75, Look at where we are now, you know? So, just a little disappointing, man. Just just a little disappointing. So, I missed this entire area here. And then, I'm going to miss another area. So, right here. So, I got up to like 3.5, right? And it starts to dip. And eventually, I'm going to realize, okay, I'm losing too much money trying to get the dip. I need to size down. So, I'm going to size down. I go down to 1,300 shares. I try my last attempt. I tried like three times coming down here. And I tried 57. It's going to fail. There's 50. I cut it. It's going to come down to 40, 30. And then again, the halt level seems to be in proximity. And right here, I walk off screen to clear my nostrils. I'm like, this thing might be on the backside or it might be a super extended pullback. And wait, hold on, hold up. Yeah, I'm like, this is going to be a super extended pullback. And I kind of like run out of mental capital trying to buy the dip. And I leave, clear my nose, thinking, yeah, this thing is not going to do anything. And this is why you can't walk away, not even for a second. I want to see if where I would have potentially been back in. Maybe there at 70, as we had some green. I mean, it moved up so fast. So by this time, I'm now walking back on screen. And I'm seeing 97 and then 830. I'm like, what? I just tried three, four times to get this dip coming down. The moment I give up and walk away thinking that the dip is not coming. So I missed this move going up. 
I missed this big dip and move going up. And so I felt like I was one for three at this point. And I'm like, are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? And so I think we're going to make some money somewhere eventually. Uh, okay, well, yeah, we made money on this dip. This was a great dip, by the way, guys. This this was a beauty. So I caught this dip right here. And I, I'm only in with 1,800 shares. But we broke down below this level here of, of, of 780 before. And so I was watching at this for a potential retest. So the moment it came down, I was buying and I was looking to say to myself, hey, if it keeps flushing, just sell wherever you get filled. You ha you're going to have to take the loss because you're taking on a high risk trade here. But I'm in. And the moment I'm in, I really get let, let's look at this again, because I kind of got a high fill versus where I thought I would have been in. So uh, notice the low, the low on this wick right here. It was about 80. Right. So I was in early. I'm like, nope. Or actually, yeah, I was in holding that trade earlier. It went up, it came back down. And I left money on the table there, but that was okay. And right, so right here, I thought I was buying for like 75. Look look at how it just, like there's a buyer here or something, like hidden buyer or something. It just comes back up. And the moment it came back up like this, I was like, okay, we're more than likely going to see a move here. So I'm going to scale down in my size and I'm going to scale out of this, I think. And I should have scaled out in smaller increments. So I'm going to sell 800 there between 15 and 20. And I did get a little nervous thinking. Because I wanted to hold the rest a little longer. But I got a little nervous thinking. Maybe I should take it off the table. Because I'm going to go back and show you guys the other trades. So there's 31. I'm going to sell more between 20 and 30. There's 50, I'm going to sell well, 37, 6, 36 area. I'm going to sell the rest. It gets through 50. And I think, did I lose big here? No, I don't think I lost. It stalled out. We couldn't get through 50 properly. Let's see. Yeah, we couldn't get through 50. But before, and, and, and ultimately that's a great trade, right? The trade earlier, if it's the right area, I think I was in here. And I was holding a little longer, but I could be wrong. We got to skip ahead a little bit. I think this trade, yeah. So I bought at 97. So look at this trade here, right? I'm in a, let's see, how many shares am I in? Was it 18? No, 1,300. I'm in 1,300 right here at 97. It's a good entry. Right? I'm in. It gets to 19, and I did not take it off. Instead, I started scaling out, or I was looking to scale out in smaller increments, thinking we would get to 30. I'm selling here 12 by 18, and I'm I'm going to ultimately hold the rest here break even. These are the trades that I sometimes think about because, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice the unrealized gains for a bigger move. But then when it comes back against you, it's like, man, why didn't I just take my 15, 10 cents? Like, ay, ay, ay. this is $234 that I left there, and it's going to come back down and I take a one cent loss. And then I take that dip that we just saw. Stuff like this sometimes, you know, it's those hard decisions you got to make in the moment and ultimately you got to live by it. But again, this is a stock that I really thought I should have done better on. So break of 50 right here, very frustrating for me. I didn't go long, opted not to go in. Another area that I could have easily just hit the buy button and would have been selling up here. And then this dips back right here to 50. I'm long 55, big size, thinking we would bounce back up again. And instead, I'm selling down here. And I'll show you guys this trade. This is at 10, 10 a.m. Shouldn't be hard to find. Look at this, man. In 4,500 shares. Hold on, wrong, wrong trade. Right here. In 4,500 shares at uh 55 out at 20. so i was up about 30 3600 at the time it's gonna you know it's gonna get me but man like if i'm if i'm to capture if i'm to capture this dip here or let's say this move up earlier that we had right here 
with the halt not being so close so, but again you know it's one of those 50 50 areas if you're being more aggressive you get rewarded but the risk was there if i'm to capture this one where i gave up with my mental capital you know two huge areas man and then right here if i'm to capture the break of 50 so i missed three key areas here caught this one missed three key areas so this is how this and this is how the day could be a ten thousand dollar day right sometimes it just works out that well where it just you know everything aligns i capture this area here we put a check mark capture this area capture that area and if i'm to buy this break of 50 at this point at uh, this level here we're capturing that and if this dips if this dip works and this goes over nine from there is where we then get into like a 15 20k day because we would have been hitting that size man but you know that hey that's how it goes right you got to push it and and even if it doesn't work hopefully you're managing managing risk so well that you can still walk away something in the green so uh, the recap is going for now 16 minutes uh i did mention i wanted to talk a little bit about um a little bit about this stock right here so as you guys know i have this other screen and sometimes i'm watching a few stocks sometimes the same stocks right i might have bigger smaller size bigger size here some people are staying relentless how are you how are you being in and out so fast guys think or swim allows for very basic hotkeys uh, i have shift z to buy market shift x to sell market that way i'm not clicking on the buy and sell button some people prefer to do that and some people they do it and they do better than i do so it just comes down to what your your preference is right but anyhow this is what i do so sometimes i have big size smaller size and then i'll have a whole, totally different stock on this side so cctg up here you know i had as i think apm was over here back earlier i was using this side for apm small size and big size right so when I switched over to CCTG, I forgot to change my size right here to small size. And it's how I ended up buying 4,500 shares. And this right here was like throwing $250 to the wind. And it could have been worse because what if I, I, I accidentally, uh, or let's just say, let, you know, if it had flushed harder, it could have easily, and it did, right? I bought, I bought, um, let's see, show trades because I can't, can't remember what time. Or which candle yeah i bought it yeah i bought in this red candle and i tried buying for like 22 23 i got the, i got filled high on the ass and i'm like nope gotta cut it immediately imagine if i didn't realize my size or i just maybe was in the mindset of giving this thing a, a chance it flushes down to 13. just like that i could have lost like a thousand bucks for nothing instead of you know losing like 150 200 with my small size so you got to be careful and remember to size down, switch the share size or else, you know, this could have been a $20 stock like HOLO at a hundred bucks or something. Just like that. You buy it, you buy some huge size on some stock you don't really plan to. And it's one of those ways you can get yourself in trouble. So for me, you know, it's why I don't want to keep my account too big, man. Like I like to just reduce the amount and just keep it small because if I make a mistake like that, Hopefully I don't lose, you know, everything I have, just, you know, whatever's in my account, a small amount, you know? So yeah, and even then you gotta be careful with like margin and stuff like that. But yeah, other than that, um, I think that's it. I mean, we had losses on, yeah, that was basically BMR with some small gains, patient trading, similar to HOLO uh, two days ago, not, not like unlike yesterday, patient, got a few good entries maybe over traded slightly at the very end but all in all good stuff so i gotta head out uh other than that guys be sure to check out those links down below for momo pro for the chat room and for the course right depending on what you guys might want if you're an experienced trader looking for a community hey check out the chat room right if you're someone looking for scanners if you want that gap scan momo pro code relentless or 25 percent off if you're looking to get involved in the classes as someone who might you know might need some help uh maybe you've been around you're quite not where you want to be or maybe you're a beginner right uh the course does go from zero to advanced it involves it includes mentorship and i can pull it up here and i can pull it up it includes mentorships 
um, as well as uh, weekly Q and A's, right? Well, that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's see, merciless. There we go. This is what I need. Yeah. All right, you guys can check out the website. You know, you have myself, Marcelo, Tim. I think we got to get a picture. We got to get a group picture of all four of us on the exchange next time. Uh, but yeah, you know, you can come here and check out and see uh, for each tier what's included. But yeah, with that being said, guys, it's been RT. And I am, of course, signing out. Stay safe, stay green. See you guys bright and early tomorrow at 9.15 a.m. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Later.